Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build your website offline. First of all, for this tutorial I'm using the WAMP, WAMP server. If you want to use WAMP, just download it on sourceforge.net projects WAMP server. You can download it here. And once you have installed it, you will have a shortcut on your desktop. This shortcut is from Rainbeater, but it won't look like this. It will look like a normal shortcut. And you will click this icon here. It, you will click yes. And it will open WAMP here. Like you can see, my WAMP server is currently online. You can see that because it's turned green. If it's not working correctly, it's for example a red or orange. What we are going to do is we are going to going to install Joomla. Here, here is Joomla. The latest version is Joomla 3.41. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Here we get a Joomla 3.41 stable full package. Now we go to new Joomla. I've already put the file in here in the new directory that we want to create. And we're going to click on extract here. And if we click on extract here, all the files are extracted in the new Joomla folder. In the meantime, we're going to WAMP server, we click on PFP my admin. I'm going to create a new database here. Here we got the data banken because it's in Dutch. I'm going to show you it in English, by the way. Here we go. Say the data databases here. Now we're going to create a new Joomla. I click on create. Well, let me just dig up this one. Because I want it to be totally new. I'm going to create new Joomla. There we go. Now we have created it. And in the meantime, everything has been unzipped. I want to go to localhost new Joomla. Because then you see the install form of Joomla. We are going to make it English. New Joomla, just another email at somewhere that come admin. I will make the admin username admin password. New Joomla. New Joomla. New Joomla. Then we click next. And now if you have you have um username and password here and for WAMP you have to fill in the root. The password is empty and the database name in this case is new Joomla. In an online situation you should change your username, password and database name. I'm going to click on next. 
eigentlich an. Learn Joomla. And I'm clicking on install. I'm removing the installation folder. Now I'm going to the site. This is the Joomla website. Now I'm going to the administrative part. And this is admin. And this is new Joomla. Clicking on login. There we go. What am I going to do now? I'm going to make. I'm going to show you how to get the, the new Joomla database here. This is the database new Joomla. I'm going to export the new Joomla database. I'm going to export it to several things here. First of all, I'm going to click on compression, key shift, go, there we go. You could also choose shift or none. There we go. And what we got zipped as well. Go. So I have now have all the skew files here below and I'm going to the download section here. I'm going to click on cut. I'm going to click on new Joomla here. And I'm going to add new directory or in that map skew okay and if you want to use this installation I've created I can I, I will make this file a zip file for you so that you only have to Upload this to your server or your ramp or your off your ramp or your online installation and then you have to use the same you have to use the SKU in a PFE my admin and just go to PFE my admin here. You have to create a database. For example, you create new Joomla, click on create, and after you have done that, you click on import, you click choose file, you choose the SKU file I have created for you in the directory, and then you click go, and it will add to your database. So if you add new Joomla, you click import, you click choose file, and you import it. It's how it works. But if you want to use this on an online website, you should also look at the configuration file. Here we go. This is the configuration file. If you use it on an online situation, 
perhaps you will choose another data mesh name. If you choose another data mesh name, you should, you should change it in the configuration file. And if you choose your username and password, your username and password will be different online because online you will have a username which is different from root and you will have a password and the password is empty in WAMP like you can see but in an online situation you will have a password so you have to change that here so this is the configuration file and this is all the SKU files that you you have to you can use just you only have to use one of them to make it upload. Now I'm going to zip this file. For this tutorial I will zip it for you and I will add it to this tutorial and I will upload the tutorial to YouTube. And I will add a link to this file online. Add to archive. New Joomla dot zip. And don't forget the username is admin and the password is new Joomla. Okay, we have the new Joomla zip file here, like you can see. And I will upload that later. I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you will visit my channel soon to visit more of my tutorials.